What is up everyone? Today we're doing part two on how to make a devil fruit in Roblox Studio. Today we're gonna to be adding our second attack. And I'm calling this Flaming Strike. So to do Flaming Strike, all you need to do is get the kit that Flaming Strike Devil Fruit Kit Part 2. This is a new kit. I see the big ball of a big blob of fire. Don't mind that. Instead, open it up and if you watched the last video, we just need to add whatever this is into server storage. So go to ser so make sure you watch the previous video before we start because if you haven't, then you're gonna have to repeat because there's some steps we have did. So I'm putting the previous video in the comments or the description. Check either one. And now we're gonna go or probably I'm gonna put it on the top right of the screen in like a few seconds. But anyways, let's just um. Okay, so first we get um server storage strike. Put this server store can help fruits into the flame section. Next, we're gonna put the um these two things into replicate storage in the fire fruit section. And now this goes into the flame section of server sub servers. Now before we start on um, like stuff, um another thing you do go to GUI, open it up, skills, now put it into starter GUI. Now open it up, open frame, see if, um, there's one text label that ha that's highlighted fire fist. So you would do, do, so right click, duplicate, and then just move it across. Now in the properties, just change the name, flaming strike. So that this one's gonna be C, so make sure you put C. And I'm gonna name it strike so that you can see that it is strike. Now I don't want to tell you about the ability yet until, and I'll tell you about the ability in a moment. So just know, guys. Um, yeah. Also, I forgot. Put this back. But just go know, guys. If you're gonna make a game using my model, I'd appreciate it if you put some kind of credit into me. But uh, yeah. So, anyways. Um, we're in flame fruit and open it up. So now I have flaming strike. When you press C, a fire like thing from the sky attacks anyone in the in near um nearby you. So some uh, some NPCs are coming to attack you. Your fire fist is like in cooldown, and about to kill you. It's flaming strike. This one is AOE damage. Let me show you. So the way I coded it is that it would not. It would be able to destroy anything it touches, and it will be deleted after. So look, I'm gonna sit, stay right here. Everyone got damaged by my flaming strike. Now, the next thing about part two I'm gonna talk about, guys, is basically um, is some customization. So go to your flaming strike in the first flame and scripts. Now. All I have to do is here. First, we have the damage. I'm gonna make the damage 20 since it's a bit. Sorry, 20 since it's a bit more. It's a bit um better than the previous move. Here it says BV velocity of vector minus 250. Now, use this how fast it is. Important thing. It has a negative symbol. Keep the negative symbol. If you remove the negative symbol like this, then your attack will just move upwards and not downwards like it's supposed to be. So make sure you always make it have a negative symbol and then how much and a number. Now right here is C frame. So it's so right here is another thing. So I see it says um, X, Y, Z, right? So all you need to do is um so um X, Y, Z you can move it however you want. So if you put like ten hundred Z let's see what happens I'm pretty sure it will move it will sh the ability will spawn at a, um, a slightly different location from your character um, oh my goodness I went all the way back here you see that so if you want to make it go in front of you what I would do is say negative and then whatever you want I'm gonna do negative 10 because 10 is actually pretty good it's pretty good so now if you customize it like this, now it will just spawn a bit right in front of you. I see the fire thing moves a bit from you. 
And also, guys, I'm going to just go over some other stuff in the Flame Hound Proud Fruit and Fire F and Strike. You can change the cooldown, the keybind, and yeah. And you just know, guys, um, I will be making another fruit after, like, a few more moves on the Flame, and then we'll move on to other fruits and other stuff. But after the Fire Fruit, I'm going to move on some basic fundamentals for games like a shop system. So, comment below if you want me to see me do a shop system before I do this. Well, anyways, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, comment down below what I should make a tutorial on, and I'll see if I can try doing it. Um, like and subscribe, it really helps the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next tutorial.